Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games back with another really cool arcade game video for you this evening. This is a fairly rare one. It's actually a pinball machine, as you can see. This is Gottlieb's Bell Ringer. This is actually just a redemption game. There's no flippers on it, but it uses a pinball, and it's in a pinball cabinet, so... I guess it's considered a pinball machine. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's a ticket spitter outer. It's for the little ones. Um, they didn't make very many of these. They used this cabinet for three or four different games, but this particular one, Bell Ringer, they only made, I think, about 160 of. So, fairly rare. We've had this a while. Um, since a re it's a redemption game, uh, a lot of people don't even... They think it's a pinball machine, so they keep coming by to buy it. And then when they get here, even though we've told them there's no flippers... Um, they end up buying something else instead so but a uh, cool little game I, I kind of like it but it's real simple there's nothing to it this was almost like an experiment that Gottlieb was doing just trying to come up with a different market um, so basically this is a miniature cabinet if you look at that door behind it there you see where the uh, door handle is <laughs> so uh, I guess it's about four feet tall something like that um, and uh, basically real simple gameplay uh, it had to this was when Premier had bought Gottlieb so I think it came out in 1992 or so or I guess it's yeah Premier had already bought them they've got 1990 on the uh, back glass so maybe it's 1990 instead I guess um, I've always been fascinated by all the Gottlieb stuff they just really uh, made some interesting stuff and this is certainly one of them yeah it says 1990 there on the uh, play field and plastics as well um, they did this one they did another one called this is bell ringer the other one I think was called bullseye or something like that it had the same exact setup the play field art was different the cabinet art was different and then there was one called uh, nudge it which was in this little tiny cabinet like this uh, where basically it was more like a like a plinko game or something um, and then they the, they finally got their stuff together and they made a uh, using this small cabinet made a Super Mario Brothers pinball machine um, and it's miniature like this where kids can get to it these legs on these things actually there's two positions you can put them in the position that it's in now so that it's really low to the ground for kids uh, it's just a little bit off, over two feet off the ground the way it is now. Uh, or you can move the, there's also holes down at the bottom, more like a traditional machine, which would uh, lift it up in the air another foot or so um, to pretty much standard pinball height. But for such a small little kitty game, it didn't, doesn't make much sense to us to uh, put it up at the, the regular height. This also has an attract mode, that the voices that we've got turned off. I'll turn them on whenever I film the little... Uh, video of it in the darks just so you can hear the uh, the carnival barker try to get the kids to play step right up um, but that's the cabinet this used Gottlieb system 3 board set so it's got an early version of the system 3 stuff in the back uh, there's a uh, little alphanumeric display there um, there's a just a regular MPU board from system 3 there's a power supply from system 3 uh, the transformer block from System 3 is in the bottom. It's got a System 3 soundboard um, and the, the System 3 driver board to make all the lights and the, the few little solenoids work. So basically, it's real simple. You put in a quarter. Ball pops out of this kick out hole right here. Falls down into the shooter lane. And then you shoot it. And it's all about making a skill shot. It goes up and it goes around this circle. And depending on what hole it lands in, you get a different amount of tickets. It's set for that right now. We've actually got it turned down where you just get one ticket no matter what hole you land in because we don't want to waste all our tickets since we're just selling it to somebody on demo basically now. Um, but you can still buy the you know the tickets that uh, go in these redemption games. But So right now the way they've got it marked is that if you go in the bottom hole, you get one ticket. If you go in the second hole, you get four. If you go in the third one, you get six. And if you go in that top one, you get 20. But it's kind of hard because you have to time it just right. You have to hit it just perfect because if you miss, you're going to land in one of these other 
holes. Now it usually will go around and then come back out. Um, so again, you can time that too. So it's all kind of just a skill shot thing. And you only get one ball. If you land in the top hole, uh, there's also this bell ringer effect over here where there's another pinball sitting there. And there's a coil behind there that will shoot it up and hit the bell. Bing! You probably won't see that when I play it here in a second because uh, it's a pretty challenging game for a little kid's game. I guess they don't want it where you win the jackpot every time. So but all of those, all of those uh, ticket numbers can be changed and stuff in the menu. But this is more just kind of a novelty. You know, I don't expect anybody to be looking for one of these. But um, the back glass is just a little miniature one, and it actually is glass. Got the bell ringer. It's silk screened, like you know most pinball glasses are. You got a little roller coaster there in the back and then you've got the carnival barker step right up he's drawn pretty cool we got a couple people here going into one of the tents with a baby it looks like and then you got these people standing here with some balloons and these guys are trying to throw a ring on the bottle and then you've got the ferris wheel here with a bunch of people on it you got the girl here and the kid with the teddy bear next to her. And if you look at the, it says, hey kid, step up and try to ring the bell. And then here it comes, are you ready? Say no to drugs, users are losers. So there you go, that's Gottlieb's bell ringer. I'll set up the tripod and just play a couple little games just so you can see uh, what the light show is kind of like and uh, so you can hear the attract mode. Be right back. I remembered a funny little story I thought I'd, maybe I'd tell you guys. You might find it interesting. This little thing here is a ticket dispenser. Um, and it's a tray. I don't think we have it locked right now. So basically, that's how they work, you know? Okay. We had, a, we had this thing for sale a while back on eBay. And a guy, a guy contacted us and wanted to know if we'd ship it to Italy. I think it was Italy. And we said, no, we will not ship it to Italy. <laughs> and so I think he had already bought it or something. Did a buy it now on it. We're talking like 500 bucks, something like that. He did a buy it now and then wanted to ship it to Italy. We're like, man, we can't do that. Um, one, it's heavy. Two, you know, it's kind of a big bunch of trouble. And uh, what if there's a problem? We can't get our game back, et cetera, et cetera. So then he explained to us that what he really needed was just this ticket dispenser. And uh, uh, he just wanted that tray that I just pulled out. And so he told us if we'd box it up, he'd have a courier come by and pick it up. So he paid us 500 bucks just for this insert. So as you can see, we have another insert. The reason we have another insert is because they use that thing in a bunch of different games. You got to remember, Gottlieb wasn't making all of this stuff. I mean, they didn't make the ticket dispenser. Deltronic Labs did, right? So this little tray, the reason Gottlieb used it in um, Bellringer is because these were like an off-the-shelf item that Deltronics or somebody was making. So we were fortunate to sell it for that. You know, we did really good for just that little insert. And then... uh we ended up buying one on eBay last week. Uh, this has been a while back, though, that we sold that one. But we bought we bought this particular one on eBay last week for forty dollars. So, some people, uh, if the gentleman's watching this, we appreciate it. I'm not speaking bad of you. I'm just saying some people need what they need, and they need it in a hurry. Huh? Crazy. But anyway, I'll be back. All right, just show you the track mode a little bit. They did a pretty good job with it, really. I don't know how long it takes for the Barker to start saying his stuff. We'll let it run for a couple seconds here and see if he says anything.
Say no to drugs. Users are losers. Well, hmm. He just says, uh, you know, hey kid, step up and try to ring the bell. Hurry, hurry, step right up. That kind of stuff. So I'll play it a little bit. You can hear the guy talking, I'm sure, during the, uh, during the game. All right, so again, this is a real simple game. All you do is try to make it in the hole. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Oh, second one. That's pretty good. They booed me, though. And again, I've got it set where you just get one ticket for each one. You, normally, I would have got six tickets for that. Ah, I don't know. And they're laughing at me. Mm, mm, mm. Oh well, as simple as that, folks. That's all there is to it. We just thought we'd shoot a little video of it in case somebody hasn't seen this uh, fairly, fairly rare game, I guess. Largely, though, because it was you know it wasn't all that desirable. You, the only place you could put this would be in a family uh, entertainment center, an FEC, as they call it. Uh, that did ticket redemption, but Gottlieb was trying to make a mark in that category. This was one of the ways they attempted it. Now, by the time you see this video, we may have already sold Mr. Bellringer. Maybe it's uh, swung its way over to somebody else's house. But we always have a ton of arcade games here for sale. So check out our website, lionsarcade.com, or stop by our shop and you can see them all here in person. Um, we're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. We've got a whole room full of, whole building full of arcade games for sale. Now, if you're not in the market for a game, hurry, hurry, step right up. There you go. <laughs> if you're not in the uh, market for a game, um, and maybe you, uh, don't live anywhere near here so you can't step right up <laughs> just subscribe to us here on YouTube we will be filming many 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 more videos just like this one so if you like this video subscribe to us and uh, you'll get an email every time we put up a new one which is usually a couple times a week so we will see you next video